So today we are talking to undergraduates, uh, Harvard women in business. When people ask what I do, this is it. Time for us. At the airport? Yeah, I think that's a great place for you to find a hot spot. Looking like this? What? Fresh queen? Because I'm moisturized. Because you're moisturized. Some serum. Can you believe that she came yesterday to the office and she didn't put a moisturizer? I didn't have time. I didn't have time. You know what? It's funny because in my mind, it's like peeing. Like, uh, how, how do you leave the house without peeing? No, wait, not like peeing. You can leave the house without peeing. But it's like this, like brushing teeth. Like, I can't. I don't know what to tell you. No, but it's not you. It's just like, it's funny how for some people, this is just like a, like nature. I don't know why you do this. How many times do we do this where I just walk and she follows me? Because I have such an authoritative, like, spirit. She just thinks I know where I'm going. And then by the time she figures out, wait, are we going in the right direction? We're in the opposite direction. <sighs> this camera is very heavy, wow. <laughs> so this year for New Year's Eve, we decided to take Jake and Ben with us to the party. So we're two months away from New Year's Eve. So grandma came to town, she specifically came to town to find us a place to party. We haven't been together for New Year's in a few years, you know, because of COVID and traveling and all this. Uh, we're, we're really excited because the boys, all three of our boys are gonna finally be together on New Year's Eve. They have this like kids thing here. This is like the venue. We'll see. Look out for the vlog, the New Year's Eve party vlog. And I grew up being with my parents most New Year's because my mom was working because she was like singing in a restaurant and I would just like fall asleep on the chairs like I have vivid memories of it and for us with Jake and Ben and Max I mean we haven't taken them at all but I think this year they're old enough that they're like we'll make a memory out of it so a couple of our friends are bringing their kids as well between like eight to ten year olds that's a good like group yeah it's gonna be like eight kids four girls and four boys I feel like it's gonna be oh. epic no? The mischief is gonna be. Uh... I'm so excited for them. Gary was like, let's leave them at home. Like, no, enough. They're big enough. Have you ever went for like a, a party with your parents? Yeah, and then you fall asleep on the chair because they're speaking until 3 o'clock in the morning. Right. And... Like, you need those memories. Exactly. I'm so excited. Especially because they don't have like any cousins here. Yeah. So it's like they hang out with their friends and they're like, yeah, remember and it's that like time the whole we passed family out? Will be here. My mom will be here. My stepdad, my brother, Dennis will be here with his girlfriend. It's gonna be so nice. Do you know where we're going? Yeah. Or am I leading again? No. Okay, great. <laughs> You're at the airport. You're international. I'm international. This is a monumental moment. I know her. And you know what? I would usually play it down, but you know what? No. No. Not anymore. She's used to it. She's used to it. She's used to it. But her? This is her first. So, yeah, you. Convincing and practical. That's a good start. You can't always trust reviews. What if it's the author's friend? And they use words that I can understand. That's important. Yeah. I feel like I've been reading too much of this I, stuff and I'm not mm, like into it. I don't want to talk about it. Those give me the hives. Like you're not. Like I read the original one of this. Yeah. And worst book I've ever read probably. Love and I didn't. The brain. So it was, it was called The Love Hypothesis. And oh. I trusted Book Talk. I will never Wait, trust Book Talk again. It? No, oh. it's a second one. It's a oh. sequel. It's an Adam Driver fan fiction. Both of them. A Kylo Ren and Rey. But I know that means nothing to you. Yeah, nah. No, this is fantasy. I can't do that. Fantasy? Fantasy. Oh, this is lovely. You like this one? 
Boston. Boston. Is this your first time? Yeah, have you ever been? Yeah. I came, I came driving from Connecticut. That's so nice. You think they have good food here? At the airport? Or ba <laughs> in Boston. Boston? I don't know, because I just had like Blaze Pizza and it wasn't... Ooh, there's this really good chicken place called Kane. I'm so hungry. What is like... My stomach hurts. Boston food. We're in Boston. Why do I look like that? <laughs> <laughs> the helmet? Yeah! She's a... It looks a like a doofus. Um, okay, we need... We are starving. And we would love a recommendation for somewhere not fancy with really good food in Boston. We want a local... A local gem. Yes. Is this us? Yeah. <gasps> Is she gonna... I hope you know once you break this handle, yeah. it's all over for us. <laughs> OMG. It's <laughs> a diaper. I know. Good morning. Okay, so, of course, literally story of our lives. This is so dirty. How did you sleep? I horribly. I was waking up like every five seconds, so restless. So I how made a huge mistake mm -hmm. watching, and I don't know if you see like how puffy I am, but this is because of what I decided to watch last night. So I watched from scratch. I yeah. finished the the series, and I cried. Oh no! All night long, <laughs> because I'm also like about to get my period. Mm -hmm. So I'm just like. Just give me a reason, you know? And waterworks are full on. It was, uh, and I'm watching it and I'm like, why am I watching this? It was a sad and like, just human, full human experience kind of cry. <laughs> Anyways, not what I needed yesterday. So I woke up this morning and I'm like, oh my God. So we're gonna have breakfast, then I'm gonna go back and do a gua sha. Why is no one blowing? <laughs> Um, you we know what I have to say though? I love the confidence that you can just walk wherever and you know like you'll end up somewhere. Oh, 100%. Started our day with, I did meditated, I journaled, I got dressed. We went to <coughs> sign up for the panel. The panel starts at around 2. My panel starts at 2. So I'm going to arrive at like 1.50 to meet uh, the other speakers on my panel. We're gonna go now. We're gonna have a 25 minute little brisk walk in the morning. I love it for me. Have some breakfast, walk back, and then I can get ready. That's gonna be our day. Exciting day. I'm kind of loving how this trip has nothing to do with like fashion, if that makes sense. It's refreshing. Like we're talking about fashion and beauty and lifestyle and like my industry, but I'm literally just, we don't think about anything else but the, the idea of it. So okay, oh no, <laughs> wrong, wrong one. Oh, say, can you see? Oh, can you not can you? Can't you? Can. Oh, can? Yeah. By it, it the dogs early light. By the dogs? Early light. Early light? I would love to dissect like what it means. I don't understand. Okay, at breakfast, I'll pull up lyrics. And we can... Okay, we're gonna break down the American anthem I because when I sing. sing an anthem, I need to understand uh, where it comes from and why I'm saying the words I'm saying. <laughs>
dressed and ready to go to the panel. So today we are talking to undergraduates, uh, Harvard women in business, which is really cool. And I'm sitting on a panel that speaks to the industry of beauty and fashion. And I am looking forward to meeting my other panelists and just listen to everyone's lessons and expertise. I'm here for it. I'm a bit nervous, but I mean, why am I nervous? Shouldn't I be nervous? You're a good talker. You know how to play hold of Right. 